this is Jeanette at Not So Perfect Mom and I am going to do a tour of my cozy mystery shelf. So, here we go. No particular order. Which Way to Murder, an Ophelia and Abby mystery by Shirley Damsgaard. Scandal at Six, a Lois Mead mystery by Ann Purser. Murder on Washington Square by Victoria Thompson. This is a Gaslight Mystery, and this is the first in the series, and I actually just finished this, I believe, earlier this month, and it was really good. Nora Roberts. Oops. Let's try this one first. This is Morgan's Cross. It's book one of the Circle Trilogy. And then this is book two, Dance of the Gods. Mum's the Word by Kate Collins. The 27 Ingredient. Chili con carne murders a Eugenia Potter mystery by Nancy Pickard and Virginia Rich. Martha Grimes, the old contemporaries. I'm sorry if there's a glare. Murder on a Girl's Not Out and George, a Southern Sisters mystery. I've read some of her other books, but I haven't read that one yet. This is The Chocolate Mouse Trap by Joanna Carl. The first Jane Austen mystery, um, Jane and the Unpleasantness at Scargrave Manor. I have started this one twice now and I still haven't finished it. I'm going to give it one more try and then I'm not sure. It may just have to be one of those I can't finish. And it's by Stephanie Barron. Murder with Reservations, a dead end job mystery by Elaine Betts. I've read one of her books from her other series. She's got several pretty good series out there. Next set. The Spirit is Willing, an Ophelia Wilde Paranormal Mystery by Max McCoy. The Silence of the Flans, an Emergency Dessert Squad Mystery by Laura Bradford. Spanish Dagger by Suzanne Wittig Albert. I have a bunch of hers and they should be together but they're not. Dusted to Death, a Charlotte LaRue mystery by Barbara Coley. Dead Men Don't Get the Munchies, includes recipes. It's by Miranda Bliss. Chorus Lines, Caviar and Corpse by Mary McHugh. Final Sentence, a cookbook nook mystery by Daryl Wood Gerber. And everybody's been raving about it. Murder Well Done by Claudia Bishop. Mark Down for Murder, Josie Bell. And I've read this one. It was pretty good. Stamped Out, A Stamping Sisters Mystery by Terry Thayer. Meow, If It's Murder, A Nick and Nora Mystery, TC, Low Tiempo. The Christie Curse by Victoria Abbott. Tagged for Murder by Elaine Flynn. Secondhand Spirits by Julia Juliet Blackwell. This is a witchcraft mystery. This is another one of my favorite ones. A Cast Off Coven by Juliet Blackwell. Murder is Binding by Lorna Barrett. Also another favorite of mine. Murder Served Simply, an Amish quilt shop mystery. Isabella Allen. Inspector Spectre by E.J. Cooperman. A haunted guest house mystery. A ground on St. Thomas. Rebecca by Rebecca M. Hale. Uh, I don't remember if this is cozy or not. It's, I know it's a mystery. And it's a Death Walker by Amy and David Thurlow. It's an Ella Eli mystery novel. Hex in High Heels by Linda Wisdom. This one's really funny. I enjoyed that one. The Ghoul Next Door, Victoria Laurie, a ghost, ghost hunter mystery. I have another one by her right here called Abby Cooper's Psychic Eye, and it's the Psychic Eye mystery, and it was pretty good. I enjoyed that one. Buried Bones, Carolyn Haynes. 
Asking for Murder by Roberta Is Isleep. I read the other book in this series earlier this year. Snow Way Out by Christine Holsom. Needle to Death by Maggie Sefton. Murder of a Sweet Old Lady by Denise Swanson. One Potion in the Grave by Heather Blake. This is the author of the other series from my other book, The uh, Wishcraft Mystery. This is her other series. Read and Bur Buried, an Ashton Corners Book Club Mystery by Erica Chase. Murder My Sweet, it's uh, by Mary Dahem, a bed and breakfast mystery. I have a couple of hers too. Legs Benedict by her. Creeps Suzette. Then we have Carolyn Hart's Engaged to Die, a demand, a death on demand mystery. Yankee Doodle Dead, another in that series by Carolyn Hart. Deadly Valentine by Carolyn Hart. Here's my other Susan Wittick Albert, Albert books. And this is Chilly Death, a China Bells mystery. Hangman's Root. Indigo Dying. Lavender Lies. My honey. Bleeding Hearts. And Rosemary Remembered. And in all of those books, I don't have the first one in the series. Go figure. Okay, we have a Victorian Detective Stories by Michael Cox. And it's got um, various short stories in it. Christmas in Paradise by Kathy Daly, a T.J. Jensen Paradise Lake Mystery. Foreign Affairs by Allison Lurie. Murder on the Rocks, a Gray Well Inn Mystery by Karen McEnery. I've read that one. It was pretty good. The Twelfth Night Murder by Ann Rutherford. It's a a restoration mystery. And then I have a few, can you still see? Alexander McCall Smith books. This is Tears of a Giraffe. The number one ladies detective agency. Then I have a Lawrence Block book, The Burglar Who Studied Spinoza. And then I have some in this series, which is The Cat Who Held a Thief, Lillian Jackson Braun. Okay, then I have The Cat Who Had 60 Whiskers by Lillian Jackson Braun. The Cat, cat Who Went Into the Closet. The Cat Who Went Up the Creek. The Cat Who Could Read Backwards. And The Cat Who Saw Stars. Then I have a couple M.C. Beatons. This is Agatha Raisin and the Walkers of Dimly. The Skeleton in the Closet by M.C. Beaton. Murder Pans Out by Emily Toll, a booked for travel mystery. This is Booked to Die by John Dunning. Familiar Motives, a witch's cat mystery by Delia James. Catering to Nobody a, by Diana Mott Davidson. And that is a really large series. Dying for Chocolate. It's a culinary mystery. Also by Diane Mott Davidson. Off Kilter, a Scottish Highlands mystery by Hannah Reed. Feline Fatale by Linda O. Johnston. A Taste for Death by P.D. James. Murder in the Museum by Simon Brett. Fatal Fixer Upper by Jenny Bentley. Do or Die by Jen McKinley. Books Can Be Deceiving by Jen McKinley. 
Book, Line, and Sinker by Jen McKinley. Also by On Borrowed Time. Then I have Homi Homicide in Hardcover by Kate Carlisle, which is ironically a paperback. Yeah. If Books Could Kill, also by Kate Carlisle. The Lies That Bind by Kate Carlisle. My Favorite Witch by Annette Blair. Statue of Limitations, A Den of Antiquity Mystery by Tamara Myers. Double Booked for Death by Ali Brandon. How to Wash a Cat by Rebecca M. Hale. Murder of a Bookstore Babe by Denise Swan Swanson. Laura Childs, A Tragic Magic. Diana Mott Davidson, Double Shot. Dead Level by Sarah Graves. Oops. Drawing Conclusions by Deirdre Vernon. Then I have The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. The Weed That Strings the Hangman's Bag. Also by Alan Bradley. And I Am Half Sick of Shadows by Alan Bradley. I've read the first two, I think. Possibly the first one. And I really enjoyed that series. Some more M.C. Beaton. Death of a Poison Pen. Death of a Dentist. Death of an Addict. Death of a Dustman. Then I won this in a giveaway, Gone and Done It by Maggie Toussaint. Okay, those two are not cozies. Let me move you over. Okay, and this stack was in my Cozy Mystery Favorites, so I'll just go through those really quick. The Trouble with Magic by Madeline Alt. A Charmed Death by Madeline Alt. No Rest for the Wiccan. By Madeline Alt. The Goodbye Witch by Heather Blake. Some Like It Witchy by Heather Blake. The Witch and the Dead. The Ghost and Mrs. McClure. Alice Kimberly. Also, this is the pen name for Cleo Coyle. This is my favorite series of cozies. The Ghost and the Dead Dead. The Ghost and the Dead Men's Library. The Ghost and the Haunted Mansion. And this is her coffeehouse mystery, Billionaire's Blend. Okay. And then this is the last stack up here. Design for Murder by Carolyn G. Hart. Fate of Art by Haley Lind. I just finished this this month and it was really pretty good. And then I have some Agatha Christie. One, two, buckle my shoe. Funerals are fatal. And this beautiful box set here has the body in the library. And then there were none. Murder on the Orient Express. And a little three short story set, Clues to Christie. Then I have these three set from um, Agatha Christie's mystery collection. Murder of the Murder of Roger Ackroyd, Remember Death, and A Pocket Full of Ra. And they all just have the simple little thing on the front. But they're really pretty. And that is all of the cozies that I have on my bookshelf, unless there are more hidden amongst the other books that I haven't sorted. But hopefully it wasn't too boring or too quick and you seen something you might be interested in let me know down below if there's anything I should pick up really quickly and maybe I'll get to it thanks for watching